Hey Wilder folks, Alicia here. Today we are talking about fitting in micro adventures midweek. We do not have to just have our outdoor fun on the weekends. So today I'm gonna to take you along on a ski tour. We are leaving here at four and we're gonna do a little after work ski fun. And I'm gonna to touch on six tips to help you get out more often. Without further ado, let's go ski touring. First thing I do is when we are finished with um, drying out our ski gear after a day, we put it back into our ski packs. Or if I'm done trail running for the day, I clean out my trail running backpack and then I hang it up almost completely ready to go. So for instance, um, my ski bag is almost completely packed right here. Then I've got my boots and I have a bag of my skins and my bib. So if I want to grab and go after work to do an adventure, it's easier. I'm not running to the bathroom to grab something that's on the dryer and then running somewhere else to grab my skis. I know that everything's close and nearby. I do the same thing for trail running. I have my pack totally ready to go. So group your gear by activity and it's easier to grab it after work. Um, the second thing that I do that makes getting out for an after work adventure way easier is sometimes I realize that the laundry won't get done or the windows won't get cleaned uh, because I am prioritizing getting out there over having a house that is perfectly clean 100% of the time. You got to choose what your priority is and if your priority for that day is skiing, it might mean that the laundry doesn't get done. <laughs> But I found I'm happier if the laundry isn't done, but I've gone for a ski as opposed to the other way around. I have a friend. Hey, buddy. Anyways, so I made it to Waterton. I'm picking up my husband here and we are gonna go for a ski. It is very much shoulder season here. So we got snow on the mountains on the back, but it is spring up in the front country. Uh, so when it comes to picking an objective for an after work micro adventure, a big thing to remember is you're probably going to end up doing a smaller objective than you would if you had all day to do it, like when you're doing something for the weekend. And I usually like to go on uh, a trail or to an objective that I have done before. So picking something a little shorter because you are only gonna have a few hours before sundown. And uh, as we know, um, things get a little bit more complicated in terms of uh, dealing with anything that could go wrong once the sun goes down. So you wanna make sure that you are closer to your trailhead. Uh, and so you're picking something shorter for after work adventures. On that note, you're also gonna to wanna to make sure you have a headlamp and comms. So I will link to our like full on video on some safety stuff. And I'll also link to this really good article that I found on how to be prepared for uh, backcountry emergencies. But just remember you are closer to sundown. So have that headlamp with you. And um, so also I make sure I have my headlamp and I also make sure I have my inReach if I'm going to be out of service or my phone with a backup battery if I am in service. The biggest thing to think about is, oh, I got another buddy. Hey, dude. Taking the shortcut. Hey. Don't mind my windshield. Oh, you're in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. It's okay. Keep on rocking. Go for it. Okay. So I'm going to wait here until I get the call that Williams has done work. And then we are going to start our little ski tour. I'm just going to enjoy the view and hang out. And yeah, so we got up to the parking lot and started getting ready to rock and roll. Time to go skiing? Yes. Sweet. Time to go skiing. 
And we're off to the races. And one thing that I like to remember, my fourth tip, if you will, is to be super flexible with your workouts. So let's say you get invited on a trail run. If that is a nice slow and steady trail run, then look on your training and get rid of a zone two, like mark it off as complete. Um, For me on this day, I had a slow run programmed and most of the day was pretty chill. So this counted as that slow jog for me. And I just kind of filled in the gaps a little bit by doing some core and a touch bit of upper in the morning that day. My next tip is to make sure that you are eating enough to support that adventure that you're doing. Have some grab and go snacks. Um, I had some leftover sourdough cinnamon buns from my birthday, but you do not have to be that elaborate. (laughs) And also make sure you're drinking water because drinking water during your activities means that you are going to recover from them faster. The next day at work, you're not going to feel hungover because you went and did sports the night before. Yahoo! <laughs> snowballs! Look at those snowballs! There they Should go. be balling! It's balling out here. And lastly, remember to enjoy yourself. This is about getting outside, relieving some stress, and actually exploring the world around you. Um, it doesn't have to be the most gnarly thing you've ever done. We had a pretty chill ski down. Remember to embrace adventure wherever you can find it. Um, I hope that these tips help you insert a little bit more adventure into your week. And I will talk to you guys soon. 